welcome once again to my YouTube channel Lega Design Studio. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas time with your loved ones and don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in the topics of this channel. My name is Lady and today I'll be talking about cover bridges. How many are there? Uh, many interesting facts about the ones that I got to visit, their audience and more. Watch that video to also know which one is the longest cover bridge in the US. I started looking into these unique bridges after this trip that we made to the White Mountains in New Hampshire. Yes, that's exactly the same one that I talked to you in one of my previous videos about the A-frame structure. You can check it out in the link above. Uh, actually, close to the place that we stayed in New Hampshire, there were three covered bridges full of history and traditions. These are Blair Covered Bridge, Bomb Covered Bridge, and Turkey Gym Bridge. Let's go over some chronology to show you milestones or major events that took Blair Covered Bridge where it is today. This bridge is made out of wood and it was built originally in 1829 for around $1,000. Now in 1970, this bridge had to be replaced for a cost of $59,000 because it was burned by a arsonist allegedly. Uh, its structural system of long trusses and arches rests on a center stone abutment and spans 130 feet to each end abutment. Uh, actually, this is the only surviving example of its patent truss system and that may be the reason why it became a historic structure and part of the New Hampshire uh, State Register of Historic Places in July 2009. Now, in 2011, a tropical storm, Adrienne, uh, made its way to New Hampshire and really, really badly damaged this bridge. Actually, after several repairs, the bridge was opened again in 2015. These structural repairs achieved an increase to the weight limit per vehicle that it was allowed on the original bridge of 1829. It went from 3 tons cars to 6 tons cars allowed, twice as much as the original bridge from 1829. Many covered bridges are only um, wide enough for a single lane of traffic, and Blair Covered Bridge is not an exception. Opposite, opposite direction vehicles need to wait until the way is clear to go through. Now let's take a look at the second covered bridge that we visited during our trip to the White Mountains. Uh, this one spans the Vivi River, uh, oh actually now that I just mentioned the name of the river, uh, on a recommendatory note I will advise you to go to a beautiful waterfall called Vivi Waterfall. It's pretty close to that uh, covered bridge and it also has a cave. It's a really cool place to, to visit if you are ever around. Anyways, coming back to the bomb cover bridge, it was built in 1972 for around $2,500. Pretty low if you consider the time. But it was actually an agreement bridge between the area selectmen. This new bridge uh, replicated the former bridge called Weber Bridge that dated from 1877. That it was too deteriorated to salvage. Uh, the original structural queen pass truss was used and it rests on a timber bend instead of the more commonly used uh, stone abutments that I show you on the Blair cover bridge, the one that I mentioned previously. Uh, the span of the bomb cover bridge is around 60 feet, which is considerably low uh, if you compare with the uh, one mentioned earlier, the Blair cover bridge with uh, each span of 130 feet. The bomb cover bridge only allows uh, 3 tons passenger cars. Okay guys, eventually we made our way to the third cover bridge that we got to visit. This one is called Torquay Jeans Bridge and it's the smallest of the ones that we got to see. In fact, whereas Blair and bomb cover bridge uh, previously mentioned allow cars, this one is close to vehicular traffic only allowing pedestrian traffic. Uh, actually, ma maybe the reason for this could be that this uh, covered bridge is inside a campground called uh, Branch Brook. It's a really serene area surrounded by beautiful landscape. If you're ever in the mood for some uh, camping, you should check this out. So, coming back to Turkey Jeans Bridge, this one was built in uh, 1958 and for about $3,700 and also replacing the existing uh, cover bridge that was already deteriorated and it dated from 1874. Uh, the same as the bomb cover bridge, the original structural system was queen pass trusses which also was replicated. And this bridge spans only 52 feet and a row width of 12 feet. 
Uh, this one, similar to the Blair cover bridge, was swept away by Tropical Storm Irene in 2011 and was restored and brought back to its apartment, which it was also stone apartments, which was the most uh, common choice for this type of cover bridges. Uh, remember, this was not the case for the bomb cover bridge which rests on uh, wood bands. These guys are only three cover bridges that we got to see, but in the vast natural landscape of the New Hampshire, there are 66 cover bridges. Actually, 54 out of the 66 are a historic wooden cover bridge currently standing and assigned official numbers by the U.S. state of New Hampshire. You can actually check them out in this uh, website on the screen. Some of the other cover bridges in the state are on the private property and not accessible to the public. Cover bridges are not only found in New Hampshire, uh, but all throughout the U.S. As a matter of fact, the longest cover bridge is located in Astabula, Ohio. It crosses the river with the same name. If you thought Blair Cover Bridge was long, with 260 feet, if you add up the two spans of 130 feet each, this one has a record length of 613 feet. So that's considered longer than the Blair Cover Bridge. Now you may be wondering where these cover bridges came from, how they originated or why. So these early bridges were mainly built uh, for utility reasons. Uh, actually, most of them are originally from 1825 to 18. 75. Uh, if you remember when I talked to you about Blair Cover Bridge, uh, that one is from originally from 1829. And this one from the beginning were made out of wood. Um, they were always covered to protect the truss systems uh, and decks from the snow and rain. So that would prevent decay and rot of the uh, structural system while it was being constructed. These cover bridges are so calm and really nice areas for photographing and for uh, visiting and being in touch with the landscape. They are great examples of man-made structure within the lavish natural uh, landscape of New Hampshire or any other wooden area in, in the United States. Okay guys, this is all for cover bridges. If you want to hear more about architecture, design, construction, or interesting places where all of this can be integrated, please subscribe and let's keep learning together. Once more, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lega Design Studio. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification button so you will get to see my next video right as it comes out. So next, I'll be talking about the latest luxury condominium under construction as we speak. Uh, actually, for those that wouldn't uh, mind a hint, uh, this stunning new tower in Miami is close related to a very famous luxury car. So stay tuned and feel free to comment below if you think you know which one it is. Thank you for watching my videos, like, subscribe, and share with all your architecture loving friends. So I can wait to share more content with you. Until next time, bye guys.